Hey, what's up guys? This time I'm going to show you how to add widgets to your GUI applications. So let's get right into it. Let's go to our Tikinja tutorial um, folder here. We're going to create a new one and call this... Um, oh, this shouldn't be here. That's something else I tried. So create a new text document. Let's call it um, widgets.py. Again, make sure you have the py extension. And let's open it up in PyCharm. Okay, so we're in here already, and we got to create our base, you know, skeleton application as we call it. So to cancer as TK, win equals TK, TK. I mean, by now you should probably know it. I mean, if you played around with it good enough, you should know how to type this pretty easily now. Uh, win dot title um, widgets. Okay, and then we're gonna make our main loop here. There we go, all done. So right here again, this is where we're going to put our code. Or not again. This is where our um, code goes to edit it. What do we got here? Turn to play lines. It doesn't matter. Okay. So let's see. Um, so we can put some code in here. Um, what do we want to put? So here are all, there's 21 widgets inside of um, TechEnter. And here they are on the screen. I put it up on the screen. And if you look at them, um, the three main ones on the top that are bolded is top level, which is going to be this, the window, the main root window thingy. And then you have your label, which is text, basically text on the screen. And then the other one is the button, basically. Okay. In this episode, we're going to be going over the label, the button, and we have already done top level, but we're also going to do frame. Okay. But anyway, so the two most basic widgets, though, are the label and button widgets. They're both created in the same way as the other ones, but they require some extra configuration usually. Okay, so let's create a label. A label is basically just text displayed to a screen, to the screen, the GUI. Um, it's usually to provide information. Okay, um, so let's make one here. Let's say we got to do, I mean, there's two ways to do it. Okay, but we're going to do it the first way. We're going to do it all in one line. So tk.label, which is the label class, we're creating a basically object of the class label, I guess you would call it. Um, I get a little confused with object oriented crap. So, oh, not root. We gotta set it to our root window, that's what I meant to say. So root here, they all, they're all like that. So this is, um, let me show you the template for each and every one of the widget. Um, how do you make a widget? They're, they're all the same way, basically. So let me show, I'm, a little, I'm talking a little weird, but. <laughs> um, so what I mean by this is widget name. So this is a little template for you. And then here we put the root window, and then here, this is not actually code, I'm just showing you. And then here we put the um, properties slash configuration type of stuff, okay? And they're all usually the same, um, except for the most, the more complicated ones. That's why we're only going lab label um, and button this episode. So, yeah, I hope that helps a little bit. Just remember they're all like this way, basically. You just put the TK dot, the name of the widget, and then you put the root window, and then you put the configuration. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, so anyway, let's get back to this. So the configuration for a button and a label is pretty much the same. We have text, and this is the text that we're going to display on the screen. So this is our first label is what I'm going to put. Okay, and that should be it. But actually, we need to have dot pack method at the end. So again, the first parameter for, um, defines the container of which this will be in, and the second parameter tells it obviously just what to display. So the pack method here tell, just tells where to put the widget. Um, it's like, yeah, it's positioning basically, and we'll learn about that in a few episodes. Probably next episode we'll learn it. So yeah, so that's how we do that. So let's run this and see what happens. Um, run here, uh, just Python, whatever. And then run that, and there we go. There's our GUI. And so, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. So as you can see, it's like really freaking small right now because what this does, what Pack does, is makes a a um, a GUI, but it, it sizes it based on how how much stuff is inside of it. It sizes it based on the widget. So if there's more widgets next to it, then it'll, it'll get bigger according to that. Basically, it's responsive as as we would say in web design, basically. So that could be a little confusing, but um, yeah. So we'll get over that. We'll learn that next episode, of course, like I said. So that's how we make a label. So it's just basically text, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's make a button now. So a button is made the same exact way. Um, so let's do that. So TK button. Let me say the root window container, whatever you want to call it. 
and then text of the button. So text, hi, I'm a button. Okay. And then, then you have to have the pack on there because it needs to have a position basically. And so let's run that. And then we get our button. That's really awesome. Oops. I hate how small it is. <laughs> but yeah, that's our button. You can even click it and stuff. Nothing happens yet because we're not doing events yet. We'll learn that in the future also. But anyway, that's pretty cool. We have a button now. So that's awesome. Okay. So there's another way to make these widgets, like I said, by using a variable. This allows the widgets to be edited and reconfigured at a future date. So let's do that. So let's say we want to make another label, but we'll do it the other way, basically. So we got to have a variable name, right? So let's create a variable. We'll name it label2 equals tk.label. Oops. And then we'll have that again. It's all basically the same thing. It does the same thing, too. Um, oops label two and then so instead of since we have a variable now we could we could have pack on the end here if we want to that would work but the point of this is that we want to have it this way so we can reconfigure at a future date right so we'll just do it this way this is what people usually do is just pack it on there at the end and then later on we could do configuration stuff you know add that on there just stuff like that but anyway um so yeah that's how you declare it with a variable so let's run it it does the exact same thing so now we have another label under there. So same thing with the button. I'm not going to do the button because it's the exact same thing. But you get the point, hopefully. So, yeah. So all widgets are actually um, objects derived from the, the respective classes for the widgets. So a statement such as button equals button actually creates a button instance from the button class. So, yeah. Um, each button has a set of options that decides its behavior and appearance. This includes attributes such as text labels, like basically this. Um, colors and font size, which we won't get into yet. For example, the button widget has attributes to manage its label, control its size, change its foreground, its background colors, and change the side of the border, and like a bunch of crap, okay? So it's just a whole bunch of configuration options is what I'm trying to say. The styling and stuff we'll get into. And this is why this is useful, so we can change stuff later on. Um, yeah, so with events and stuff like that, let's say a button gets clicked. And then we can change this, what it looks like, okay? So to set these attributes, you can set the values directly at the time of creating the widget, like we did here. Or, um, as demonstrated in the um, example here, like I said. So alternatively, you can set or change the options of the widget by using the dot .config method or dot .configure method. Um, note that the config or configure methods are interchangeable and provide the same functionality. So they're the same thing, basically, is what I'm trying to say. In fact, the config method is simply an alias of the configure method. So Again, it's the same thing. Oops, <laughs> Fortnite. Anyway, so I'm rambling a little bit. I um, just want you to understand if you can. Hopefully, I'm not talking too fast. So, so the last thing we'll go over this episode is the frame widget. The widget is used to group together other widgets and act, act as a sort of container for similar widgets. Basically, what this is, it's another type of container. So they, like other widgets, um, are created pretty much the same way. So let's create a frame here. So let's do, let's put it up here. Since it'll, these will be inside of it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it inside. Oops. Okay. So let's make one. So we'll name it cool frame equals tk.frame. Like I, oh, what the fudge? I don't know what the hell I did here. So tk.frame. And then what uh, window or container do we want this to go in? So same thing. And we don't need anything else on the end here. So as a second parameter, we don't need anything else because it's just a frame. So that's how you make a frame. And then we got a pack it too, so we'll pack cool frame dot pack. So it's in there now. So let's see if we run it if anything happens. So nothing happens actually because there's nothing in it probably. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. And so let's put some stuff inside of that now. So we'll change this. What we do now is change this to cool frame. Okay. So cool frame. Let's run that and see what happens. And nothing really happens. It's just part of the group now. It's a basically just a group of widgets. And this will be useful for uh, positioning and stuff like that. So you can set the, the frames to be positioned in a certain way, basically, to have stuff on certain sides of the GUI. It's all very complicated, but we'll learn how to do it. Don't worry. So, yeah. So what this did was create a frame inside of the root a container of win that we have here and now with this we can create some order basically so this can be useful for creating some order because our applications in the future might be split into different sections like 
buttons for like this and buttons for that and you know other stuff you know <laughs> so from then on we could create a frame for each of those sections and put the corresponding widgets inside of those sections so like let's say there's a section for cats here and a section for dogs any buttons related to cats we wouldn't put in the dog section we'll put in the cat section and so on basically okay so yeah so on that thought let's put our current widgets inside which we already did and yeah so now that we have a basic overview of some of the easy widgets, like the button, the label, and the frame, we can move on to the being able to position them in the next episode. So next episode, we'll go over the Geometry Manager, which is a name for how to position stuff in Tikinter. Okay? So this allows us to be able to establish a layout for our GUIs. Okay? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, there's 21 widgets, like I said, but these are the simple ones so far, and we'll be able to go over the more complex ones later on. So don't worry. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And peace.